Geeks, it's Wednesday, so we're talking comic books, specifically comic book sidekicks. Who doesn't love a good sidekick? Whether it's a little brother or sister, or someone you, you saved from a tragic accident. Parents probably dead, so they're an orphan. Make them your sidekick. Or maybe it's just some kid who stumbled upon your secret identity, and you gotta keep him quiet by giving him a mask and a sword, or something like that. All I know is you need sidekicks. Sidekicks can bail you out of jail. Sidekicks can help you do cool moves and defeat bad guys. Sidekicks can hold the ladder when you gotta change a light bulb. We're talking sidekicks. This is the Geek 360 Report. Stick around. All right, folks, we're talking sidekicks today. Specifically, we're counting down the top four sidekicks in comic books as per me, Tommy Bechtold, your fearless host. Now, this is no official list unless you count something that I say as official, which you never, ever should. If you disagree with anyone on my list, you should post in the comments underneath. Number four, Bob, agent of Hydra. This is the craziest sidekick. This is a man whose wife bullied him into joining Hydra, and then, with a chance encounter with Deadpool, Deadpool reconditioned him, tortured him, we don't know, into being his sidekick, or minion, as Deadpool liked to call him. And everyone kind of writes Bob off as silly, but what we forget is Bob saved Deadpool after Wolverine tore him to shreds. So Bob is my number four greatest sidekick. Number three, Harley Quinn. They're not all good guys. You know, some sidekicks can be evil. And let's respect Harley Quinn for going to college and getting her master's or doctorate in psychiatry and then deciding to leave that all behind to become a dancing court jester and help the Joker solve crimes. Plus, Harley Quinn has given us some of the best costumes at comic book conventions over the last few years. You go to Comic-Con, some of the Joker and Harley Quinn combination costumes are incredible. They're elaborate, they're creative, they're pretty smoking hot to be perfectly honest with you. Both the Joker and Harley Quinn, I don't judge. Uh, so Harley Quinn is definitely my number three best comic book sidekick. Number two, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. But before that, Bucky Barnes was one of maybe like two or three comic book characters that was ever considered permanently dead. Uncle Ben being another one, and I'm sure there's some soldier or bad guy or henchman who died in a, in a Superman comic years ago who never came back. But Bucky Barnes was supposed to be dead forever, and then in 2004 they said, no, he's back. He's the Winter Soldier, and eventually he became Captain America. Now that's upward job mobility, that's hope. That's hope for America, Captain America. Number one, my boy Robin. Here's why I love Robin, two reasons. One, he's basically a badass Annie. Family dies, gets arrested by a rich eccentric man. Does he sing songs with a giant dog? No, he gets his own costume, he goes out and fights crime. Reason number two, he's one of like, two people, maybe three on Earth, who get to disobey the Dark Knight and still come back and hang out in the Batcave. That's pretty badass. So that's why Robin is my number one comic book sidekick of all time. Now guys, I got a lot of help with my list from newsarama.com. It's a really cool blog. We're gonna have a link to their site down below on the page. So check it out, click it, give it some love. Tell them you love them. I know I do. That's it for the Geek 360 Report for this week. We'll be back on Monday with movies and TV. I'm Tommy Bechtold. You guys have a great week.